All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 14 of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. And as you saw in the last episode, we had our horses stolen from us while we were raiding the, uh, the cave there. And what is it, Swindler's Den. And that was incredibly disheartening. We had collected a bunch of loot, which was nice. And then we had all this stuff in our arms. We were on our way back, put it on our horses, and our horses were missing. So we kind of had to waddle our way back here into Whiterun. We have most of our gear stored down near uh, the entrance there. So we have a bunch of stuff to sell. I already broke down a lot of the kind of useless silver, uh, silver, um, iron and steel stuff. And so we'll, we'll do a little bit of smithing today. So today's goal is we are going to continue on their original goal that they had, which was to reach 55 smithing, if I can, there it is. So we want to reach 55 smithing so we can upgrade to Nordic smithing here. One of the other goals that we are going to want to get is, my understanding is that right here, Arcane Craftsmanship allows you to pair enchanted items, which is going to be very good. Um, there's, do we have any enchanted items? So I don't think we can buff that, but uh, Eric's weapon, right? Bouncer is an enchanted item. And so being able, I don't know what the base material for that is and make that you know, a little bit better for him will most definitely be worth it. Um, I mean, depending on the material. It's probably just steel. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really. Anyway, from there, we are going to be turn, uh, you know, doing a little bit more work, most likely. Um, what else? Another quest we had here, I think. We had to turn in something, right? Maybe not. Um, Oh, I think we had turned it in at the end of the last episode, that's right. But we were gonna be working on purchasing a house. Because after John and Eric had their horses stolen over at Swimmer's Den, they realized going around just carrying all your stuff as an adventurer is not a very good way to do things. And they they were hesitant to leave everything here because they wanted to stay mobile, but they realized that staying mobile leaves you very vulnerable. We were lucky in that we had all of our gold up nuts, but now it's time to invest in a safe place we can store all of our items. So it's 11 p.m. in game. We're gonna get a nice, uh, we'll do, let's do nine hours of sleep so we can go right out and start trading and working. <clears throat> uh, it's been a while since I last grew my hair uh, and they've now grown longer. Ooh, can we? Take a look here and let's see. Hard to tell. How do we uh, how do we zoom in here? Shift, right? I think he looks pretty good the way he is, right? He's fine. All right, let's get to work. Uh, let's see. We're hungry and we're thirsty. I don't know if we have any water on us. Yeah, he will eat. We just kind of eat here. Raw venison. Have an apple pie. How about that? Honest, honestly, apple pie for breakfast sounds amazing. Let's see what some of the quests I've are here, since they're all about to walk by. Citizen of White Run is a it seems that a predator has invaded. Oh, okay, we can do this. And someone needs to clear the beast out. Yeah, we'll take that. Be cautious. Beasts are not nearly as predictable as men. Give the thing a quick death. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, what we got? What we got? Yep. Oh, okay, that is super vague and unhelpful. Yeah, that's what I was figuring down in Riverwood. Cause like, why would, why would there be a wolf in the middle of White Run, right? Well, it, it could have been in um, Brogstead instead. Piece of cake. We'll get down to that eventually. First, we are gonna go sell some stuff. Are we like dirty? Yeah, we're very dirty. Okay, what was the one? After. Oh, that was that was the pie. Magic ingredients increase. So one of the really helpful things about having this new armor is that it reduced our uh, restoration spell cost by like fifteen percent per piece, which was pretty good. It brought it down to like ninety-seven magicka per spell. 
Let's see, and so if we go in here and take a look at it, okay, okay uh, oh no, we're thirsty, that's the problem. We look so much better. We are also, because we did that quest, we're going to get a reduced price for the cost of the house that we purchased. Normally it's 25k, but with that done, we are going to have, it's something like Disposition Level 2 or something the Jarl of Whiterun, which means it is getting reduced down to some something around like 19k gold. So we're actually only like 5k away from being able to purchase that house. Bad, right? Uh, we'll find him in a moment. Let's go pray. We'll pray to our K, and then we'll find him. We'll go into the inn and take a bath in there. But with, when once we do this, it's going to clear all of our uh, buffs. So we kind of have to do this first. Nice that it is that he was right there. Get better prices. Can you do? Ooh. Ah, very nice. We all come into RK's light in the end, but there's no need to rush. Ah, well, we're kind of in a rush this morning, Eric. We have stuff to do, so... Gotta, gotta get moving. Maybe we should have started at 7 a.m. We have a few errands to, to run around for that I forgot about. What else? Yeah, it does this weird, like, animation while we're sprinting like that, so that's kind of a pain. Woo! Can you imagine actually jumping that far? Be nice when this resets. We're starting to run out of things, right? Oh, we're, we're headed down to Riverwood, so we're gonna grab that. Nice. Bellathor's letter. I have to see if there's any... any items he has for sale. There's a couple things that we're looking for now, because... Hey, there you are. Good to see you. Oh, thank oh. you. Divine bless your kind heart. Oh, thank you. Well, let's sate that appetite, huh? One thing we're always looking for is beef stew. Do any mammoth anything? Raw mammoth, raw beef. I think we have to sell. Wait, we're up to like 11 beef stew. That's ridiculous. God's blessings on you. Uh, oh, right. We need the bath key. Hello, friend. Uh, have you heard any rumors, have you I guess? seen that shrine of Asura? They say the dark elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. We'll have to Sight take a look. See. Uh, yeah, well, we might as well unlock the, the Mage's Magic College, the too. Week. Elves, I mean. Wow! They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, Dang! Of course, Varengar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Okay, uh, where's the bath key? Thank you. Here, this is for you. Be careful and stay safe. Dang, man! Glad she doesn't know we do restoration magic. Here, we need to purchase some more soap, too. So, uh, no, nah, that regen's all fine. What we kind of want is lavender soap's pretty good. Then dragon's tongue is good. We'll, we'll use the dragon's tongue right now. Oh, okay, Eric's, jo Eric's gonna join me, I think. So, this is fine. We yeah, thanks, thanks, Eric, for having my back, for for washing my back, right? Uh, we have to go into third person, otherwise it sometimes bugs out. So, but I mean the the ladder upstairs is right there, so it's not too bad. One of the things that I forgot to do again is um, oh yeah, we, we have this ring to sell. We have a bunch of stuff to sell, right? Twenty five hundred gold value. Eric, you gonna get dressed? Well, I hope he gets dressed. So we got that done. I think we are now ready to go pick up all the items. Right and, okay, cool. Eric has all of his stuff. I tried to get Eric to equip the, the scaled light armor gloves that offer, it's like a 20% boost to damage. And when I took away his cur current uh, Glamour Gloves, he put 
he put back on his iron gloves because they only pay attention to the base, like, defense rather than, um, what is it? The, like, the enchantments? Everything's... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. So that was freaking heartbreaking. Um, Ring of Eminent Illusion. Illusion spells are 16% less to cap. Nice. But... Frostgiver meat. Hey, raw mammoth meat. Uh, mammoth meats, we, we try to pick up mammoth meat because it's kind of rare. So we're also, oh, he has, he has tents. We were gonna, or, uh, so we can buy a new leather tent or we can craft our own fur tent. And I, and even though it's gonna cost us like 20 fur pelts, oh, All right, we're we're gonna craft our ah, ah. no, we're gonna craft our own fur tent because fur tents will prevent you from freezing to death in in the north, and they're worth it. So here, I'm I'm here for that delivery job too. Do come back. Extra like 150 gold, right? As we run down there. Why not? We can also check out that other potion shop too. That's the big thing that we're doing. We need to see, we're looking for, it, I think it's superlative potions. Is that what they're called, right? Let me, um, yeah, the superlative potions that instantly heal, right? We need more of those. We need potions of cleansing, which she has like three of them. They're like 600 gold because when we were attacked by that dragon, I was thinking more about this. We got pummeled. Like, the, the reason that those potions, the superlative potions worked was not because they fully healed us, it's because they removed the status effects. And so these are as good as superlative potions. <clears throat> uh, she doesn't have any of those, but these are nearly as good. So, ugh. That's kind of painful to buy all of those out. Um, they're expensive, they're like, like a lot of money to buy those. What else can we kind of get rid of here? Um, yeah, we'll end up probably using that if we ever have to take on any pages. But, um, the sleeping tree sap here, I think we aren't gonna end up really using five of them. Probably just sell two of them. Uh, what else? Yeah, I sold a few other potions here while I was doing this man. I was thinking trying to decide if we were going to go up to Solitude to sell our gems. And I don't think I'm ready to sell all of our flawless gems yet. So what we'll do is we'll sell all of the other kind of crappier gems just to get our gold back up. We're gonna use it to do this house. Things like Amethyst here. Um, no, aqua, Aquamarine, what are we gonna do with those? I'm hesitant to sell all of these just because we might do something by all the garnets. Uh, onyx. One of the things is that you can actually grind these into, like, glitter dust, so I was... Probably shouldn't be selling all of these, but whatever, right? You know, the sapphires... Bulls? Oh, I don't think you can cut these, so we're just gonna sell them. But, uh, like I said, we could, you know, we... It would be... We're, we're in need of the gold right now. You know, rather than, like, alchemy... We need gold. So we're just gonna sell these out too. 17k gold off of that. Also and it also cleans up our inventory a little bit here, right? It's not ridiculous anymore. Be careful out there. So we sold her a bunch of gems and she's like, okay. What else? Now we uh we can finally get to the thing that we were actually supposed to be doing, which is selling all of the uh Armor and weapons and items we have. Keep working at your craft. How much gold does she have? How's it going? Thank you. The finest. Good. Uh, 4K. Good luck out there. Should be able to work with that. Oh my goodness. Um. Let's start with all of the cloaks. That immediately over encumbered me. Just grabbing all of these cloaks. So. We're gonna give some to Eric. Where's Eric? Eric. 
the heck's Eric? Alright. We'll have to wander over here. We'll bring a few, uh, a few of these with us as well. So... Also, we're gonna sell these staffs. So the staffs and the cloaks, we're gonna sell to that mage. Um... Vanishing Mace... I've, I also decided, like, I was considering breaking these down, too, and I decided, no, we need the gold, we're just gonna sell them. All the orcish stuff, we're just gonna sell as well. That we might give to Eric, honestly. And, uh, all that. So that's a good start. Right? Just start with the weapons. There he is. What can I do for you? The finest weapon. I have a bunch of totally epic stuff to sell you here. Ooh, yeah, we're we're gonna get some really good speech level ups out of this. So that should be good. We're already up to uh almost 19k gold, so that's pretty excellent. Don't forget to check inside the Eric. shop if you need anything. It just feels right, sir. What do you need? Hold these. Still over encumbered. Still over encumbered? Seriously? Let me know I... if you need anything. Oh, it was the staffs, right? That's what did it. Hopefully he's in his shop. Yes. Huh? Are we wearing our necklace of Debella? Yeah, the amulet of Debella increases our speech. At first, I thought I'd make sure thing. All right, all of these, these. We also have this thing if we really want to sell it, but I think we're gonna keep it and enchant it. That was actually bunkhouse. So, let's get going then. Gonna. Gonna give them yes. full credit for it, Take right? Look. Fury, what is that? Level four? Lord, right? Uh, Frost Atronach for 60 seconds, but it's 500 gold. And a couple of soul gems. Not bad. But, we are looking to sell all of these. Here, uh, Try and get our bunnies. Ah, plugged it out. Take a look. Actually, we. Oh my God, we're gonna take all of his gold. Just doing this with the uh, the lesser pelts. Damn. Okay. Wasn't really expecting that. Mm -hmm. Till next time. Still over encumbered. This new armor fits me. Of course. Oh no, we can't sell our staffs to him now. Know. Maybe we will buy some things from him, right? Yeah, we can't sell these now. We uh, we need to restock him with 700 gold. What's he have that's worth 700 gold? Uh, maybe a, a book here, right? Arcane Ward. Spell Soul Gem. Kills the caster. You could buy like Firebolt or something. Killing Aura on self. Yeah, we already have those. Healing hands. I do healing hands. And like heal our horse and stuff. Uh, protect from poison on target. Reduces poison effects by 25% for one hour. Interesting. Uh, lots of conjuration things, but our conjuration. Let's do sunfire. Uh, I think I think what we'll do is the uh, where where was it right? Healing hands. Yeah, because we can. Well, we could just throw healing auras on things, but now let's buy healing hands, and then what we can do is sell our uh, two staffs here. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's a reasonable trade, right? Next time. Still over encumbered. <laughs> if I can make enough money here and. Oh my God, Eric! What are you doing, bro? There we go. Lead on. Cleaning for a friend. Who's gonna visit you next week? Nice. The coin always greases the wheels. Oh, how much gold do we have to give him? Ah, that's not bad. Almost like 600, right? 
And we have to sell all the rest of the cloaks into the shop here, which, you know, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. It won't be not, as no, good, but... Oh, Eric, give me what you got. What can I do for you? I'm at your service. Yeah, we need all of these. And... Oh, is that it? I thought I had given him more. All right. If there's any way I can be of service, please... Oh, Bellathor! Bellathor! Oh, oh. Take a look. Oh, he almost got away from us. Oh, that's right. We have all these other, like, rings and stuff to sell. Damn. Um, so we'll do these. Da, da. Oh, see, that's why we picked those up, because they're freaking, you know, they're worth it a lot. Helmet doesn't really go with the fur. Oh, we have this. Yeah, we have a couple of these to sell, right? Gold diamond ring, we're saving that for enchantments. Yeah, the ring of extreme sneaking here, we're just going to sell, because what else are we going to do with it? Right? And then... I don't think we're really gonna... Oh my god. We, we took all of his gold. Um, <laughs> nice! Do you have any books? You know, fire sparks, but... I don't think he has anything, like, that that is worth buying for us. Maybe some... You know, some of these, but... Remember, I'll give just you the best. carry the, uh, the jewelry. We're up to 20k gold, and we haven't even sold the armor yet. Ah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna change the chest plate just because I don't like this weird, like, glitch, visual glitch that we're experiencing there. That's, that's bad enough that I'm willing to, uh, switch to something else, right? So, the, uh, yeah, all the scaled, all the steel here we're gonna sell, um... I might actually, well, ah. Uh, nah, screw it. We'll sell all that. The orcish stuff too, right? Sneaking with, um, well, she might not have enough gold first, so. Well, <laughs> we'll start with what we have. I don't think we're even gonna be able to sell all of this. We'll have to go up to Yorlin Greyman. Good to see you. The finest weapons and armor. All right, um, so we're looking at this. What? Now she only has 2K? What happened? Kind of weird. Anyway, all of the steel plate. And then, yup, like I said, right? We didn't even have enough, you know, to sell these. So, out of gold. Thanks for the business. Uh, why don't we grab the rest of them? We're gonna give them to Eric. Yeah, we'll take these. Uh, we're probably gonna keep these and build, like, a set out of them. And then we're gonna come down later to do the smithing. And I'll, I'll skip past the smithing. I might also skip past all the stuff we're selling, but... I've got your back. No problem. How can we've I been, help? been live for, like, 20 minutes just trying to sell all this stuff, right? Yeah, he doesn't even want to wear this stuff. That's the crazy part, right? And, but oddly enough, he still prefers these because the, uh... Why? Probably the value is what he's looking at. But, Eric, Lead you on. can't... You can't sneak in those, Eric. It doesn't work. Eric's crazy. I really like this new tree. Looks great. Very happy about that. So we'll sell these, and then I think what we'll do is we'll run up top, purchase our house, and uh, go from there. A lot of steel to shape. Oh, where is Eric? I'm gonna have to wait for him. He has all the stuff I'm trying to sell. <laughs> Dang it! I don't think there's anything we can loot up here as we're waiting for him. Is there like a call button for your followers. Um. And but there he is. It just feels Hi, Eric. Right. What? Oh, I must Let have hit the wrong one. Still here. Sure thing. 
Give me these and this and this. No, no, no. You give, give me these. All right, come on. Keep your boots of stamina, right? They literally give you more stamina. Let's get going then. Hmm? Gods be praised. He has 4,500 gold. Nice. So we'll start off with those, right? A nice speech level up. That and that and then the scaled helmet, which really isn't worth that much. But um, we could sell this ring to him. Yeah, let's do it. Right, might as well. And then I think we're gonna give Eric Done. this other. Oh, he just burned himself. I think he just burned himself trying to use this. Did he? No. Okay, he still used it. Eric, you're not allowed to use that. Come on, you're gonna get in trouble. I was gonna give him the other ring. But... No, we ah, we are up to 27k gold. Yeah. So we're gonna run up and try and buy a house, and then we'll we'll jump inside. We'll look around, uh, just to, just to look at the empty house, right? We'll quickly do some smithing, and then we'll come back up and furnish it. We'll also see if they they, uh, they have any other work for us, right? Yeah, so we talked to you. You've done a great service. So this was for the tree. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. My Arrow, is there anything else you need? There is room in my court for a new fame. It's an honorary title mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my home, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. Okay. You help my people, and purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my fame. Because here's the thing, um, it would be an honor. Good luck to you. We already helped five people, so... Farewell, kinsman. Now we get to buy a house. Good to see you. And look at that. Reduced price. So it's not 25k, it's uh, around like 19k. I'd like to purchase a home. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Um, so let's do a quick check on I'll home decorations. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for description. Yeah, we're gonna sell that. You can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? I'm just looking at prices here. Um, it looks like it's gonna be so. That's one k, like two two thousand thousand gold. Um, Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. We'll we'll take a look at it first, just to see what it looks like empty, and then so it'll be like pimp this house, right? And then we'll run back up here, we'll become Thane. And whoops. And then, um, can we make it? Ooh. And once we're Thane, we will purchase all of those options and go down and look at our new house, right? Thank you, Bunkal, it is, it's awesome, right? New house. I probably should have done this like three episodes ago and stored all of our stuff in here so that we wouldn't be robbed, but you do, right? How the story goes. Oh. Basement. Her bed. Oh, they got a little side room. Cool. Yeah, this is the, uh, the expanded version, I think. Empty storage. It's it's perfect. So what we're gonna do is before we head back up to the cloud district, I am going to get to 55 smithing. That won't take too long, but I'm just gonna skip for a bit for uh, for the YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do is basically just snap my fingers and it'll be done, right? So snap. So there we go, we're back. We ended up getting a total level and we managed to get up to 55 smithing. We'll take this. I'm gonna do something very surprising and throw it into Magicka. 
I want to round out our Magicka at 100 because this will allow us to cast our healing auras a little bit easier. So the next one is going to go into magic. As you can see, we're up to 55. I did a little bit of extra too. Um, so we're going to throw one perk into here. And one perk into here. Silver and ebony. So I don't really know... I don't think we're going to be able to improve these, but I do want to check. I'm curious. If we could improve them... Oh, we can. Nice. So, these we might. We might actually improve these, at least once we have a full set. Um, they're, they're already listed as well-made, so that's okay. Nice. I'm pretty excited that we're going to be able to have a full set of those. The, uh, the Vigilance armor, once we have a full set, we'll be able to put the Vigilance armor on a, uh, a dummy or something. And we have 9k gold still in our inventory, so we're not, like, hurting for gold. We didn't even sell all of the other steel items that we made. We're not going to break them down, we're just going to sell them instead, because we still have enough, um, steel. I mean, I guess I could break them down and focus on collecting only leather instead of having to get more iron, but... You know, why why waste it when we can just sell it and get gold, right? Like a lot of gold. They're worth 200 each. So, and we made about 30 of them. So that's what, 3,000 gold? Just a quick 3,000 gold? I mean, that's, you know, it's a free enchantment on a good piece of item, essentially. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk. Let's start with decorating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we already went through all that. What would you like to purchase? I'd like to purchase everything. So we're gonna furnish the bedroom. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Uh, we'll do the loft. Very well. I'll make the. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Dining room. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to? Oh, purchase? thank you for lurking. Uh, the living room. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? The kitchen. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And we don't really need a children's bedroom. I think these are like interchangeable. So we're going to take Very the well. alchemy lab. Up. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And see, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is you can replace the lab with a children's room if you really want to, but uh, I don't want to purchase decorations. As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. And then if we wanted to, we could rent out our home, which is probably something that we... Well, now we've invested most of our gold into training, which is a lot better than like a house because... You can't own a home if you're dead. So, enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. We are gonna use our our first home here. It's good to see you again. I have helped your people as you have asked. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of White Run. Oh, it's the greatest honor yeah. that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? The Axe of White Run. Ooh. Keep safe. We got here. Oh. Deals 25 points of shock damage. We can give this to Eric. That's excellent. Eric. Eric. Look, it just feels right somehow. What do you want me to carry? I got you a present. Let's see what he prefers, right? Yep. Very nice. So the other one does nearly as much damage, but um very nice, right? I don't think we have the uh the expertise. Yeah, cuz this is glass, right? We don't have the expertise to fit. I still don't know. Is this an Orcish weapon? I think it is, looking at it. I think it's an orcish weapon. So we'd have to take a perk in order to... But... Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Let's see. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Let's go look at our new home. And then we can finally store all of our uh, items outside in that barrel. Because I'm worried about that barrel spawning. That's one of the... The other reasons that we're doing this is that we do not want our items sitting outside to spawn. So, 
so far, you know, so far so good, right? I still want to do a little bit of combat here. I don't know if there's any, uh... Well, I, honestly, this might be it, right? Is that the... Just, just purchasing a home and kind of going through and dealing with all this stuff. So, we'll run inside and then we'll, we'll drag everything into it. Wow, I've never played, like, with this mod before, so... Look at this place! We got a fireplace, two bookshelves... Crap, we should have been collecting books! Um... <laughs> We, we arrive and we look at each other like, ah, oh, maybe we should have been picking up all those books we were seeing. Um, instead of selling them, right? What's up there? I don't, I don't think we can put anything in there, right? Nice decorations. Oven, cooking pot. Great war, right? More bookcases. Here's our cellar. I think this is, uh, Lydia's room, right? Oh, oh crap, we forgot to talk to her! Uh, oops. We got here. Huh. Um, oh, very nice. Our own little hot spring we got here, right? Nice. Extra mushrooms and stuff. We could harvest this if we really wanted to, but we. Got some more stores. Go upstairs. Ah! Cribs Wildlander edition. Huh? Where's the um, alchemy station? A little bit confused about that. This is pretty nice though. Master bed. Rhino Talos. Okay, fair, fair enough, right? I don't think we can swap that out, which is unfortunate, but. Would have done one with RK. Oh my god, they're... Mm. Uh. Look at it, me. <sighs> okay, okay, that's fine. Um. Oh, is this it? <laughs> Small trophy cases. Here, can we... Oh, look! set up like different bears and dragons and stuff that's great so i'll i'll figure out what we're gonna do with everything there um is this like a bug up here or maybe maybe i don't know i have no idea right like because i don't see <laughs> I don't see an alchemy station up here. Um, was it in the basement? I just kind of walked by it. I missed it. No, I didn't see an alchemy station in here. So I'm guessing that's just an unpatched bug. Uh, anything in the pack? No. There is one bug that I reported as like an urgent bug which was that these containers spawned with, like, like the safe here spawned with really, really valuable loot. And I'm glad to see that was taken care of. So that's good, right? Hey, we can harvest some ingredients from our house, but I don't think they respawn. And the last thing we'll do is we'll head up top. Our happy little... <gasps> we have a garden! Oh my god! We can plant ingredients and stuff. It just feels right somehow. What do you want me to carry? Eric, you have, uh, like, all of our ingredients, right? Let's see what we can plant, just right now. It's taking everything, because... If there's any I've been looking for you. Oh! Got something I'm supposed to deliver. <laughs> hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. Oh, okay. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. We've got to go. <sighs> All right, yeah, garden party up here. <laughs> uh, take a look at this, right? Museum pamphlet. Uh, museum of Dawnstar. 
That's great. You know, we were planning on heading to Dawnstar right up here because we were going to need more materials in order to get um, Nordic style gear. So I think that's a perfect opportunity to go up there and take a look at that, right? That's excellent. That's what, I thought. what do we got, right? Not not really all that much because we need more ingredients here. So I want to get some better flowers before we plant them, right? At first I thought I was oh. spawning. You're actually, well, I guess I've had... we'll take these downstairs. We'll just kind of throw them in a barrel, I guess. Right in here. Uh. We will throw all of our alchemy ingredients. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll chuck them probably right in here, right? This looks like a good one. I mean, it's look, it's right next to these, so I think that's a perfect place to chuck all of our ingredients. That makes sense to me. Anyway, put them all in here, and um. No, I'm actually getting really, like, hungry. Like, in real life, hungry. I... Th what the heck is that? Glow dust? Random glow dust sitting by the other uh, door? Okay. Sus. Little sus. But I, th I think that's going to end up being our episode. Is that we... You know, we became the Thane of Whiterun. We gave Eric a new weapon. Um, on our next episode, what we'll do is we'll work on this. We will see if there's any other uh, areas within Whiterun that we can clear. And then we're gonna be heading up to Donsar. We're gonna be walking to Donsar because we don't have any horses. And there's a good chance that we might encounter a little bit of trouble on the way there. So that'll be uh, our next episode for tomorrow. So, or not tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.